What is the immune system and how you can boost your immunity? We have heard a lot about immunity and how important it is for us to prevent us from diseases. But what do we know about the system that is so important for us? Well, I think it's time to have a little know-how about the immune system and how you can give it a boost for a life that's full of health. So the immune system is basically defined as the bodily system that protects your body from foreign substances, cells and tissues like bacteria and viruses. Simply put, it's your immune system's job to defend your body against illness and disease. The complex system is made up of cells in your skin, blood, bone marrow, tissues and organs that protect your body against potentially harmful pathogens like bacteria and viruses and limit the damage from non-infectious agents like sunburn or cancer. Think of the immune system as an orchestra. For the best performance, you want every instrument and every musician in the orchestra to perform at their best. You certainly don't want one musician to perform on double speed or one instrument suddenly produce sound at twice the volume it usually does. You want every component of that orchestra to perform exactly according to the plan. The same goes for your immune system. To best protect your body from harm, every component of your immune system needs to perform exactly according to the plan. The best way you can ensure that happens is to practice the good for you behaviors every day that your immune system runs on. So Know How presents to you some methods to boost your immunity. Let's begin! Number 1. Eat a healthy diet. The nutrients you get from food, in particular plant-based foods like fruits, vegetables, herbs and spices are essential for keeping your immune system functioning properly. Many plant-based foods also have antiviral and antimicrobial properties, which help us fight off infection. For example, research shows that spices like clove, oregano, thyme, cinnamon and cumin contain antiviral and antimicrobial properties that prevent the growth of food-spoiling bacteria like Bacillus faptalus and Pseudomonas fluorescens harmful fungi like Aspergillus flavus and antibiotic-resistant microorganisms like Staphylococcus aureus. Protein is also critical for immune health. The amino acids in protein help build and maintain immune cells, and skimping on these micronutrients may lower your body's ability to fight infections. When it comes to a diet that supports good immune health, focus on incorporating more plants and plant-based foods. Add fruits and veggies to soups and stews, smoothies and salads, or eat them as snacks. Carrots, broccoli, spinach, red bell peppers, apricots, strawberries and citrus fruits such as oranges, grapefruit, tangerines are all great sources of vitamins A and C, while seeds and nuts will provide protein, vitamin E and zinc. Additional sources of protein and zinc include seafood, lean meat and poultry. Number 2. Keep stress under control. It is a known fact that long-term stress leads to chronically elevated levels of steroid hormone called cortisol. The body relies on hormones like cortisol during short-term bouts of stress. Cortisol has a beneficial effect of actually preventing the immune system from responding before the stressful event is over, so your body can react to the immediate stressor. But when cortisol levels are constantly high, it essentially blocks the immune system from kicking into gear and doing its job to protect the body against potential threats from germs like viruses and bacteria. For stress relief, meditation, journaling and any activity that you enjoy, such as fishing, playing golf or drawing can help. Try to do at least one stress reducing activity every day. Number 3. Get plenty of good quality sleep. Your body heals and regenerates while you sleep, making adequate sleep critical for a healthy immune response. More specifically, sleep is a time when your body produces and distributes key immune cells like cytokines, a type of protein that can either fight or promote inflammation. T-cells, 
a type of white blood cell that regulates immune response, and interleukin-12, a pro-inflammatory cytokine. When you don't get enough sleep, your immune system may not do these things as well, making it less able to defend your body against harmful invaders and making you more likely to get sick. Sleep deprivation also elevates cortisol levels, which of course is also not good for your immune function. To ensure you get quality sleep, prioritize good sleep hygiene. Turn off the electronics at least 2 or 3 hours before bed and avoid violent or stressful books or conversations. Number 4. Exercise regularly, especially outdoors when possible. Regular exercise lowers your risk of developing chronic diseases like obesity, type 2 diabetes and heart diseases. Exercise also increases the release of endorphins that reduce pain and create feelings of pleasure, making it a great way to manage stress. Since stress negatively impacts our immune system, this is another way exercise can improve immune response. Adults should be getting at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise, like walking, jogging or cycling, or 75 minutes of high intensity aerobic exercise, like running, every week. You should also be doing strength training at least twice a week. Moreover, more activity has been found to be linked to even more health benefits, so aim high. Number 5. When it comes to alcohol, practice moderation. Drinking high amounts of alcohol is associated with a range of negative health effects, including lowered immune function. When you drink high amounts of alcohol, your body is too busy to detoxify your system to bother with normal immune system function. If you don't already drink, don't start. If you drink occasionally, limit your alcohol consumption to one drink equivalent to a 4 ounce glass of wine per day if you are a woman and two drinks per day if you are a man. Number 6. Don't smoke cigarettes. Like alcohol, cigarette smoking can also affect immune health. Anything that's a toxin can compromise your immune system. In particular, the chemicals released by cigarette smoke like carbon monoxide, nicotine, nitrogen oxide and cadmium can interfere with the growth and function of immune cells like cytokines, T-cells and B-cells. Smoking also worsens viral and bacterial infections, especially those of lungs, like pneumonia, flu and tuberculosis. If you currently smoke, there are many resources available to help you kick your habit including counseling, nicotine replacement products, non-nicotine medications and behavioral therapy. Number 7. Keep symptoms of chronic conditions under control. Chronic conditions like asthma, heart disease and diabetes can affect the immune system and increase the risk of infections. For example, when people with type 2 diabetes don't manage their blood sugar properly, this can create a chronic, low-grade inflammatory response that weakens the body's defense system. Similarly, people with asthma are more susceptible to catching and even dying from the flu and often experience worse flu and asthma symptoms as a result of the infection. If you get sick with the virus, it's going to take more effort for your body to recover. If you manage your chronic conditions better, you'll free up more reserves to help your body fight off the infection. So be sure to stay on top of any medications, doctor visits and healthy habits that keep your symptoms at bay. Your immune system will thank you. These were some effective ways to boost your immunity. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Stay safe and healthy. Click the bell icon to get notifications for our next video. Bye-bye, have a good day! If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our videos. Bye-bye! See you soon with a new video!